The weather in the UK has been absolutely awful the past couple of days, which is why this has given me the perfect opportunity to talk about five must-do upgrades on the Quantum RX Flux. This thing is one ape scale, it's priced under £300 or $300, it's 4S ready straight out the box and it performs great. Now that said, it does have some minor issues and things that could really do with upgrading. I've had this a couple of months now and it has become one of my favourite RC cars of all time, but to make it even better, you can make some very small changes. Today we're going to be taking a look at five must do upgrades on the Quantum RX Flux. First up, let's talk about the biggest upgrade of them all and that is the steering servo. The Included metal geared servo is a little slow and it's not very responsive which does make driving this thing around feel a little bit sluggish and when it comes to the overall handling of the car it feels like it's holding it back slightly. I upgraded my servo to a high performance brushless KST servo which may be slightly overkill for this application but it certainly made a huge difference. There are so many options out there you really don't have to spend a fortune on a KST servo but since they sent them to me to test here on the channel it made sense to fix one into this. If you can afford it though, performance is great and I would highly recommend KST as your go-to servo brand. Now as you can see here, the upgrade process is really simple. You only have to remove a few screws to get your new servo fitted in. Now the difference is insane and with the servo upgrade, the handling of the Quantum RX is now so much better. And here's a quick comparison for you. On the left is the stock servo and on the right, the upgraded KST servo. So lightning quick and it's definitely made a huge difference. Moving on, let's talk about bearings. Out of the box the Quantum RX comes with metal shielded bearings which are great for use in dusty or dry conditions but if you plan on running in the wet I would highly recommend upgrading to a full set of rubber sealed bearings. When I tested the truck on the first review video it was a very wet day and at first I thought well it's all good I'm sure this thing has rubber sealed bearings as a standard feature as this is a rally car and rally cars are supposed to be used in wet conditions like this. Well I was wrong and a couple of days later I found out that most of the bearings on the drivetrain had actually seized. Now as a beginner changing out a complete set of bearings may seem like a difficult and time consuming task but if you take your time it's actually quite a simple process. Now I had to work out all the required sizes using exploded diagrams on the HPI website but to help you out I will stick a list of all the required bearings down in the description below. It'd be great if HPI who own Maverick included these as a standard feature. They're not a very expensive upgrade and it will give you that peace of mind knowing you can run in the wet without any issues. As far as I know you can't even buy these as an optional upgrade directly from HPI so you will have to buy them separately. Now I've spoken to Colin over at rcbearings.co.uk and he's now offering a complete upgrade kit for your Maverick Quantum RX Flux so there's absolutely no reason why you can't get this thing switched over to rubber sealed bearings and best of all he's happy to offer 10% off if you use the code BEYONDRC10. Thank you Colin that is much appreciated. Replacing every bearing will be a lot of work, but in the long run, I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. Next, let's talk about body clips. The included body clips on the Quantum RX Flux are terrible. They always choose to pop out when you're out bashing, which is why they needed an upgrade. Body clips always seem to have a habit of going missing when you're out bashing in the field, which is why clip retainers are a really good idea. Team Corelli and Armour already run clip retainers on a lot of their vehicles, and they are definitely a worthwhile upgrade on the Quantum RX Flux. I use Team Corelli 1 8 scale body clips with retainers on a lot of my cars now and all that is required is a drill to drill out a hole for the retainer. As you can see here I have done exactly that on the Quantum RX Flux and it makes such a difference. You no longer have to worry about losing body clips but always make sure you have some handy as they always seem to find a way to go missing. Now let's talk about the body shell then because I absolutely love it. I really like the colour, I like the styling but there's a lot of people out there who who aren't really a fan. For such a large and detailed body is incredibly thin and it really doesn't hold up well to any abuse at all. People have lots of different methods when it comes to reinforcing a body such as using drywall tape and shoe goo, drywall tape with silicone or gorilla tape. In this case I've used black gorilla tape which is really easy to work with, it's available in different colours and most importantly adds lots of extra strength to the body. I find it's also easier to work with than doing the shoe goo method. 
I recently reinforced the Quantum RX body and it has made a huge difference. Now the final upgrade I would recommend on the Quantum RX Flux is a gyro. You may disagree with this one as some people think gyros take away from the driving experience, but in this case, I disagree. Gyros can really help when it comes to driving enjoyment, especially when used on very loose surfaces. Having a gyro can really come in handy. I'm now using the Dumbo RC X6FG receiver with inbuilt gyro and the Dumbo RC X6 transmitter instead of the terrible included Maverick transmitter. I really dislike those things. They're big, they're chunky, and they just feel outdated. The good thing is I can adjust the gyro using the transmitter, which is great as it's down to me to decide how much stabilization I want when I'm out driving or if I'm feeling brave, I can turn it off completely. There we go then, that's five upgrades I would highly recommend doing on the Quantum RX Flux. Now these upgrades are gonna allow you to get even more enjoyment out of the car and keep it running in tip top condition for many months to come. Do you currently own one of these amazing cheap rally cars? If you do, drop a comment down below and let me know if you've made made any modifications to yours to make it even better. The Quantum RX Flux is a great car, it's excellent value for the money, it performs really well, but it does need some very minor upgrades to make it even better. If you're considering one of these, then check out the full review video that I did back in December. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one. To see more of the Quantum RX Flux, click on one of these videos now.